Clarabel. Where Clarabel low lieth, the breezes pause and die, letting the rose leaves fall. But the solemn oak tree sigheth, thick leaved, ambrosial, with an ancient melody of an inward agony, where Clarabel low lieth. At eve the beetle boometh athwart the thicket lone, at noon the wild bee hummeth about the mossed headstone. At midnight the moon cometh and looketh down alone. Her song the lint white swelleth, the clear voiced mavis dwelleth, the callow throstle lispeth, the slumbrous wave outwelleth, the babbling runnel crispeth, the hollow grot replieth, where Clarabel no lieth. The Kraken Below the thunders of the upper deep, far, far beneath in the abysmal sea, his ancient, dreamless, uninvaded sleep, the kraken sleepeth. Faintest sunlights flee about his shadowy sides. Above him swell huge sponges of millennial growth and height. And far away into the sickly light, from many a wondrous grot and secret cell unnumbered, an enormous polypi winnow with giant arms the slumbering green. There hath he lain for ages, and will lie battening upon huge sea-worms in his sleep, until the latter fire shall heat the deep, then once by man and angels to be seen, and roaring he shall rise, and on the surface die. To J.S. The wind that beats the mountain blows more softly round the open world, and gently comes the world to those that are cast in gentle mould. And me this knowledge bolder made, or else I had not dared to flow in these words toward you, and invade even with a verse your holy woe. Tis strange that those we lean on most, those in whose laps our limbs are nursed, fall into shadow, soonest lost. Those we love first are taken first. God gives us love, something the love he lends us, but... When love has grown to ripeness, that on which to throw falls off, and love is left alone. This is the curse of time. Alas, in grief I am not all unlearned. Once through mine own door's death did pass, one went who never hath returned. He will not smile, not speak to me once more. Two years his chair is seen empty before us. That was he without whose life I had not been. Your loss is rarer, for the star rose with you through a little arc of heaven, nor having wandered far, shot on a sudden into dark. I knew your brother, his mute dust I honor, and his living worth. A man more pure and bold and just was never born into the earth. I have not looked upon you nigh, since that dear soul hath fallen asleep. Great nature is more wise than I. I will not tell you not to weep. And though mine own eyes filled with dew, drawn from the spirit through the brain, I will not even preach to you. Weep, weeping dulls the inward pain. Let grief be her own mistress still. She loveth her own anguish deep more than much pleasure. Let her will be done, to weep or not to weep. I will not say, God's oldness of death is blown in every wind, for that is not a common chance that takes away a noble mind. His memory long will live alone in all our hearts, as mournful light that broods above the fallen sun, and dwells in heaven half the night. Vain solace, memory standing near cast down her eyes, and in her throat her voice seemed distant, and a tear dropped on the letters as I wrote. I wrote I know not what. In truth, how should I soothe you anyway, who miss the brother of your youth? It's something I did wish to say. For he too was a friend to me, both of my friends, and my true breast bleedeth for both. Yet it may be that only silence suiteth best. Words weaker than your grief would make grief more, to a better I should cease, although myself could almost take the place of him that sleeps in peace. Sleep sweetly, tender heart, in peace. Sleep, Holy Spirit, blessed soul, while the stars burn, the moons increase, and the great ages onward roll. Sleep to the end, true soul and sweet. Nothing comes to thee new or strange. Sleep full of rest from head to feet. Lie still, dry dust, secure of change. Break, break, 
break. Break, break, break on thy cold grey stones, O sea, and I would that my tongue could utter the thoughts that arrive in me. Oh, well for the fisherman's boy that he shouts with his sister at play. Oh, well for the sailor lad that he sings in his boat on the bay. And the stately ships go on to their haven under the hill. And oh, for the touch of a vanished hand and the sound of a voice that is still. Break, break, break at the foot of thy crags, O sea, for the tender grace of the day that is dead will never come back to me.